Hello, Updog Clubs. This is Jason with Updog. I want to talk to you about data entry. So if I'm a club putting on an event, I'm going to go to the clubs page. And there's going to be a lot of great resources on this page that are going to help me run my event. First, I'm going to register my event, make sure I order my awards, download my timers. Over here are my score sheets. And then I can go to the drive and get my data entry form. So we'll go to the drive. And this is going to populate a page that's going to allow me to download data entry sheets. So here's some information about prepping the field, a hosting checklist, and a bunch more goodies. But we're going to talk about data entry today. And here's the data entry sheets for all the different games. Okay, so now I've downloaded my sheet. I'm going to go ahead and open it. There we go. It's going to ask me if I want to enable macros, and I do. So here's our sheet. This is spaced out. So this is what the sheet looks like. Notice it says level one, handler name, dog name, team number. And then I'm just going to enter the information in these fields. Event. Ideally, you'll have someone at the event uh, doing data entry for you, uh, or, uh, or after the event, uh, maybe in the evening after the event, you'll uh, take all the score sheets and uh, do your data entry then. So let's say we're filling out uh, one of the data entry forms, like this one. I believe this is for uh, Throw and Go. So you can see here, there's our names, our dog name. Team numbers haven't been entered. Total number of catches, number of bonus catches, number of missed catches, total points. Now in throw and go, this one, um, you have to enter the score yourself. It doesn't calculate it for you. Okay. Now on all of these sheets, there are instructions. It says fill out the white cells, review data for accuracy, go to the second tab, which is the sort sheet, place cursor in the yellow box, and press the sort button. Now why do we do that? So this is our data entry sheet right here. This is where we actually put in all of the information. All right, you can see all the data is entered. But then I'm going to go to my sort sheet. Here it said place cursor in the yellow box. First, let's clear the data. Now I'm going to place the cursor in the yellow box and click this button. And what it does here is it sorts for me. And it's going to sort uh, using all of the tiebreaker formulas. Uh, you should go ahead and check that manually based on your score sheets, but then now you're all ready to go ahead and award your top three placements. And then, of course, now that I'm done with this sheet, I'm just going to go ahead and save as. And the one thing you need to make sure is that you're saving it as a macro-enabled workbook, Excel SM. Okay, that's going to be important. If you ever have any questions, of course, uh, you can always revert to the instructions. If you notice here, it says save this form as the event name, date, and game. So you can see here for the example, the event name, plant city, the date, 2815, and the game, throw and go. And then go ahead and email those results to results at updogchallenge.com. Or uh, if you have uh, Kat's email, go ahead and send it right to her. Or send it to help at updogchallenge.com. All of those emails will work. Let's look at uh, one more sheet. Make sure you have the names right. It's important that they're correct. So let's say you didn't put Deanna Jones, you just put Deanna and Denali. This might look like a different team when you upload it, and so it would create a new team. Uh, luckily, now that you have the UDT number, that should uh, keep that from happening. But it's still important to make sure you get this information correct before you upload it. Yes, and then that's going to go ahead and total up the score for you. And then you, again, must manually enter whether there was a speedy feed or a high five and that should be uh, come directly from your score sheet whether they earned the uh, speedy feet which is four clean runs with all catches made on the first attempt or a high five which is five clean runs with all catches made on the first attempt okay so hopefully that helps with any of the questions you have on data entry and uh, of course just get in touch if you have any more